Do we have our living quarters now? Yeah, we do. Look at that. So now we can go to the bathroom if we need to. <laughs> that's cool. Is that is that new? I don't know if that's always been there or not. Got a little kitchen over here, refrigerator, some lockers, a couple of bunk beds. I don't know what that stuff is. Maybe it's just more storage. But uh, yeah, very cool looking. Welcome back everybody to Satisfactory Update 8. I am the Bearded OG and we're going to start uh, what will be for me my third season um, or third playthrough of this game. And um, I, I know that they're going to be coming out with 1.0 at some point. I don't believe an actual date has been announced, but um, I'm excited for that. And uh, But I, I didn't want to wait for that because who knows how long it's going to actually take. And uh, I wanted to, to get back into Satisfactory because I really, really do love this game. Um, and I didn't, uh, the last time I played was Update 5, uh, which was about almost two and a half years ago when I started it. And I got, um, I think I got up into uh, Tier 4, I think it was. I was just getting ready to start oil. And then I stopped playing it just because I had a few things happen in, uh, major things happen in real life, including the loss of my mother at that point. Um, and some work stuff and whatever, and I just, I, I never, you know, continued to uh, continued it at that point. But I always have always wanted to get back into it, and I have recently been playing uh, Planet Crafter and really enjoying Planet Crafter and the production aspects of of that game. Uh, kind of, you know, lit the fire again for me to come back into Satisfactory. So anyway, that's what we're about. I might um, at some point do a, a quick tour of, of some of my older saves, particularly my last one. Uh, for those who might be interested but uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here in updating and one of the nice things about this game um and i'm assuming that this will be true when 10 releases is that uh you know they're very good about uh, allowing you to continue your save games into the next update so I, I i would be very surprised if that was not going to be the case with 10 either so that means that when 10 does come out we just continue on you know wherever we happen to be at that point in time all right, so um, let's go ahead and do a new game here. Uh, we're gonna start in the Rocky Desert only because I never have actually started in the Rocky Desert. I've started in the grass fields a couple times. I've done a Dune Desert uh, playthrough on multiplayer. And when I did update five, we did a forest, a Northern Forest up, um, start. Really, really beautiful area too. Uh, but we're gonna start Rocky Desert primarily here again because um, I just haven't started in the Rocky Desert before and it's supposed to be a pretty good place to start. <laughs> Um, we'll make we'll go ahead and make this a friends session so that way if you know if anybody wants to join me at some point uh, we could po probably work something like that out and um, the game does have advanced game settings and I think I'm gonna enable those not necessarily turn them on but they give us more uh, options here for you know for things that we can do and um, so I think I think we're going to keep it at, uh, God won't. Yeah. I, there might be a, a point in time where for, you know, we might want to, you know, do a flyby of some of the factories later on. And so, you know, having the ability to do that will be good. I won't be using any of this stuff to do anything cheat, you know, cheaty. So, you know, I'll just tell you guys that right up front. Um, and especially, you know, anything that's going to give us free stuff or whatever, we're not, we won't be doing that. Um, I think to that, wasn't there a an option? There's supposed to be an option where you can have the creatures be, um, you know, just retaliatory rather than aggressive. I don't even see where that is in here. Gameplay, God mode, fight mode. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I probably won't do that anyways because that's part of the challenge of the game. Uh, the creatures, not all of them, but several of them are hostile and very dangerous, and that just adds to the challenge of the game. So I'm not going to change any of this. I'm just enabling it so that in the future, if we want to, you know, we can uh, we, we can do some of this stuff. OK, so anyway, that stuff's been enabled. And um, wait, do I have to reset the default? Oh. 
okay maybe I, I think I can enable that later on so I guess we we don't have to do that right now okay um, so we're gonna call this um, a bearded um, rocky desert I was gonna name an update 9 but if we go if we continue the series on into 1 0 which is the plan then um, you know naming it 9 is kind of weird so we're just gonna say rocky desert for our start um, I'm, I'll go ahead and do the onboarding process just because here again it's been two and a half years since I've played I, I did watch a few videos just to see you know kind of what had changed since update 5 I certainly don't remember everything um, you know so there's just gonna be a lot of new stuff too I have spent a little bit of time on my old save just kind of looking around the world and seeing some of the changes and they're just absolutely amazing um, but uh, yeah we'll go ahead and just do the onboarding process both for myself, you know, um, but for anybody who's watching this for the first time and ha is not familiar with Satisfactory, you can kind of see how all of that works. Okay, so I think we're ready to to get this party started. Let's do it. Um, this game is just amazing. Um, you know, when when I first started playing it, just love it. it. It gets it gets quite a bit more complicated as time goes on, but you know that's just how these kind of games work. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have some fun with it and just really looking forward to, to getting Attention back into it. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. <laughs> All right. I love that intro. That's awesome. Okay, we have control. Uh, first thing we're going to do... to Planet oh. Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. Akicha. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Yes. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Hub, habitat, Note, utility base. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Okay. I th I think I think she's done talking. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing we want to do is actually go into settings. Um, setting options, gameplay, and controls. 
and the mouse sensitivity is crazy so I'm gonna bring this down to maybe two and a half I mean it's it's still like too much let's go back in here I don't I don't know how anybody can play <laughs> the mouse that's that hot um, let's bring it down to two okay all right I think we can work with that very good. All right. So um, it's going to take me, you know, a few episodes to, to remember everything. And, and plus, like I said, there's a lot of new things to learn as well. Uh, but it wants us to take this thing apart and use its parts to build the hub. So we press the F key and we just hold the mouse button down and we deconstruct that. And then we have all the, the loots. All important fix-it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Codex is our journal, essentially. Okay, um, O for codex. There we go. And um, this just is basically our journal and our encyclopedia and all of our information that uh, we have. Um, we also have uh, second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated Zeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Yeah, that's good no. advice. According to Fixit regulations, Lady. every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Are you done? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so this is our first weapon. Uh, later on, we'll be able to make better weapons. <coughs> Third objective. Please familiarize yourself <laughs> with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. This is cool, man. I've, I've kind of sort of been over in this area, but I've never started over here. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay. The MAM is, is basically our research station. Uh, but these bear, uh, nuts, barrel nuts, yeah, is what they're called. Um, they're actually a way for us to heal ourselves. or in the early game. One of the changes that they did make since update five, I'll probably always say since update five, since I haven't played since then, right? Uh, is that your player now will slowly heal over time. It's very slow. It's not enough to save you like in a combat situation, but, um, you, it'll heal your, you all the way back up. I th whereas I think before... It would only heal you up like three of the little bars there down there in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, so this is a, a little um, zappity do thing here. Now, like um, Ada wants us to do, we need to find some iron and we need to find some copper. And I want to move kind of to the west because I want to be near the ocean uh, or the shore. And I, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to go about doing this in terms of... Are we going to build like one super mega factory or are we going to build, you know, smaller factories in different areas? I'm kind of leaning towards the second thing only because then we can kind of enjoy the, the different parts of the world. If you guys have never seen this game before or never played it or whatever, um, this this world is just amazing. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's enormous. And there's some very, very cool areas, um, you know, that we'll be exploring as we as we progress. So even though we're starting here, uh, that by no means means this is where, where we're going to stay the entire time. Um, but we do have to, you know, get a, a basic factory going with some of the at least basic stuff, um, you know, manufactured in order to advance before we set out and get too far away from our area here. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and press the V key and scan for iron ore. Okay, so looks like we have... Oh, oh, it's right there. Yeah, okay, that's really close. I think... Yeah, there's some way back there, but... Again, because I want to kind of move to the west, we want to stay more in this direction. I don't think we're too far from the ocean. We will eventually get access to a map, but we have to unlock that. And I think we can unlock it earlier than we used to be able to. Okay, so this is a normal iron. Um, normal's fine. I think with normal, I, I think a normal node can support uh, up to 60 units per second, if I recall correctly. We'll figure all that out later. 
and that's definitely enough to get a star. Plus, we have another one over there, too. Now, that little pod thing has bad bads in it. Um, the little, I don't know what the hell they are. They're like little bumblebee things that, that come out. Oh, there's a third one right there. Okay, so we've got three iron nodes right next to each other. That's really good. Uh, we're going to need to take this thing out because if we don't, then, um, you know, this thing's going to be dangerous to us. So let's go ahead and run in and see if we can take it out quick. Okay, good. Um, did that kill the bees too? I guess it did. All right, so we took a little bit of damage, but not a huge amount. Okay, so that's a normal node, and this is a normal node and normal. Okay, good. So three normal iron nodes is fine. That'll that'll get us by just fine. Um, I guess we don't have the option to scan for copper yet. Um, it'll give us that option, you know, as we as we progress. Okay, so this is where. I think we're going to set up shop to start with here. And I'm not going to be real concerned about being nice and neat or where we place stuff at the very beginning. Uh, we will definitely be doing that because that's part of the fun of this game for me is setting up neat factories and everything's all lined up and organized. But it, there, there's not much point in doing that in the very early game because you're inevitably going to, you know, change things up anyway. So you basically just want to get started and, you know, do the, the basics that you need to get started. All right. So. We've pressed V to scan for iron nodes. Hold E to gather resource. Oh, right. Okay. So, the first... Well, actually, hold on. First thing... No. Yeah. We do have the stuff to set the hub down. I'm sorry. I, I know I'm a little scatterbrained, but I'm just trying to remember how all this shit works. Uh, okay. So, if we press Q for the build menu, we can set down the hub because, remember, we had the materials from um, taking the pot apart. And let's just, let's actually turn it this way. And yeah, that should work. Okay. Now, when we build the hub for the first time, we have to actually upgrade it. That's part of the onboarding thing. Unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay. So what that means is uh, we make stuff in the craft bench, which we'll need to do, and that we use this to to uh, do our upgrades. Okay, so for hub upgrade one, we need to select this and select it as a milestone. And in order to, to do that, um, we will... No, these are the things that we get after we do it. And it looks like it's going to take 10 iron rods in order for us to, to do that. Right, 10 iron, iron rods. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to need to do then is we're going to need to get some iron itself. And does it? did this give us a, a storage bin? It, it didn't. It, I think it will on the next upgrade. Okay. So if I didn't already know what to do, uh, which is get iron, where's it telling me that? If we go back to here, tutorials, open the open the codex. Okay, so we have the codex open now. Dismantle the drop pod. We've already done that. Equip. Find. Okay, find and collect iron. So this is basically where it's telling us to do that. Gotcha. Okay. So we can collect iron by hand when we first start. We just come up to it and uh, we press E. And we just use our little hand chisel to mine ourselves a little bit of iron. Okay, that gave us 20 iron ore. Let's do the same thing at these other two nodes and we'll get we'll get rid of the these thingamadoodles that stick up here. Because later on we're going to put some actual miners on top of these nodes here. Oh, I'm so excited to get back into this game. This game is so fun. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play it as much as I am going to enjoy playing it. All right, so let's get back over here. And... um. We need to go here 
and we need to select a recipe, um, iron ingots. And then if I just press the space bar once, uh, it'll just auto craft all of these and I don't have to sit here and hold the button down, which is kind of nice. There's no storage that this goes into. It just goes right back into my own inventory. Okay, I think we'll stop with 40 left. Now, uh, we just want to make 10 of these. Is there a way to queue up 10? Or do we just have to... Yeah, probably... Probably not here. There. Okay, so that gave us 10 rods. All right, now what we do with the 10 rods... Uh, what? Well, no, we don't do that. Um, we take and put those 10 rods into here, and then we hit Upgrade Hub. And that'll upgrade us to the to the next level of the hub, which is... It kind of frames it in, but we still have more to go here. Congratulations. Oh, it did give us a storage. You have unlocked Building Workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to, note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Okay, good. Uh, all right, so now what we need to do is go back into here and we need to... We need at, no. We need to build the workshop. So if we press Q, go to production. Uh, we need to build the equipment workshop. Here's where we can actually queue up multiples of these if we want to, and it it goes onto our like little to do list over here. But of course, we only need one of these. Um, so we need six plates and four rods to make that. All right. So let's go six. Uh, oh well, four. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we'll just do six. Oops, stop. Okay. Now we can build the equipment workshop, and we'll just put it right here. Let's turn it around this way. Sweet. Okay. And then in here, this is where we can make the portable miners, and if we, I guess if we ever lost our Xeno Zapper... I don't know if you can lose it. <laughs> um, we could, uh, yeah, you know what? You could, you used to be able to lose it if you deleted everything when you died. But now the default setting is, is you only lose materials. You don't lose equipment. Uh, anyway, okay. So to make portable miners, we need two plates and four rods per. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, we might as well just make the rest of this raw iron into ingots because we need ingots to make the plates and the rod. So let's do that right now. Okay. Now let's make, um, I don't remember what that said we needed. We need two plates and four rods. Gotcha. Okay. So let's make say four of these guys. So that means we need eight plates and 16 rods. There we go. And that should be enough to make four of these. There we go. Okay. Now what we do is we put these guys down on the iron nodes. Um, let's see. How do I get them? Okay. I got to put them in my hands. And then, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. How do I put this damn thing down? Oh, just press the mouse button. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's cool. All right. Nice. Let's get the other ones put down now. Okay, let's let them do their thing. Uh, all right, next. We go here, interact with the hub. Hub upgrade two. 
Select milestone. And we need 20 rods and 10 plates to do that. Okay, so we've got all the plates. We're going to need some more iron to do the rods. We've got all the plates, but we need 12 more rods. So let's run over here and grab some more ore from these guys. He already had 41. And I think I said we needed 12. Oh, actually, we got to do this first. All right, let's make um, 12 more rods. And put those in here. There we go. We're ready for hub upgrade two. Okay. So what that did was Congratulations. that Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner, scanner feature copper, new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. 7th objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, I think she's done. All right, so that got us our first uh, biomass burner. So this is our first power generator. And it also um, gave us our, uh, well, the start of our living quarters. But this will fill out uh, on the next upgrade. And it gave us the ability to scan for copper. And so if we press V, we can now scan for copper. Okay, so there's like three nodes not very far over that way. Good. So uh, I think what we'll do then is... Let's see. If I... If I pick this up... Okay, how do I pick this up? Ah, right here. <clears throat> I think it gives me the ore when I do that. Let's double check. Yes, it did. Okay. So, what are we going to do then is we're going to pick two of these up. And we'll leave those two stay put for the moment. And we're going to run over here to this copper and put these down on the copper notes. Let's get this back in our thing in case we run into any bad bads. Okay, so it showed the copper is over this way. Let's just do another scan. There. Oh, yeah, that's not far away at all. Okay, but we do have more enemies to deal with. So we have two copper nodes really close to each other and then another one a little further out. They're prob probably going to be normal. Yeah, that one's normal. Oh, there's another enemy. Okay, I tell you what, let's do this. Let's put this in our hands. And eat these to heal up. And we'll take that enemy out too. This is a normal as well. All right, good. I mean, even just one normal copper would be enough to get us started, but having two next to each other is great. So what we'll do is we'll take and put these guys down here, get them started mining copper for us. And I'm going to take a little bit back with me right now. Let's also uh, grab the the little upper piece off of this one too. Beautiful. Okay, so let's head on back to our hub. And basically the copper 
nodes are just kind of to the northwest of our hub a little bit. Not far away at all. <laughs> oh, they also updated the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, too. So now we have planetary um, objects and a galaxy. Oh, that is neat, man. None of that stuff was in the game in, in uh, update five. A really, really bright moon, because I think it's nighttime right now. Oh, yeah, that's neat. I love all, all that stuff. What do we need for the next upgrade? A uh, hub upgrade three. What do we get from two? We got power line, smelter, the ability to make wire and cable, and the ability to scan ore. Okay. So, um, so I think what we'll do is we'll... We'll put a smelter down on the iron. And uh, what do we what do we need for upgrade three? We're gonna need copper wire, iron rods, and plates for that. And then we get constructors, power poles, concrete screws, reinforced plates, and limestone. Nice. All right, so let's see, what should we do first? Um, we should probably get some biomass in here. Now, as I recall, if you could find like the little yellow wildflowers, those were by, by far the best thing to put in the biomass burner. Um, but I have no idea where to look for that stuff. Here in the, oh geez, there's another iron node. My goodness, okay. So, I mean, we can use normal, you know, uh, plants, and it does work. It just doesn't last very long is all. And we're probably not going to find any flowers <laughs> out here in this desert. Uh, at least not the ones that I'm thinking of. So, I think we'll have to get by with, um, you know, just using tumbleweeds. Even, even if we could find, like, some branches, that'd be good, but look how fast that water's moving. That's funny. Um, I, and I don't even know where we would find branches. Later on, we'll be able to get a chainsaw and we can cut wood, but until that happens... Um, we, uh, the only way we can get wood is to find, like, branches on the ground. Does this give us wood? Oh, that does give us wood. Okay. All right, well, that's good. Hey, there's a doggo. This little feller here we can we can tame, and he can, he can make, you know, he can become our pet later. Okay, so since these do give wood, uh, I'd rather focus on those more than the other stuff. Hey, buddy. Uh, that's a, a bacon mushroom, which gives us more health than the nuts do. Because who doesn't like bacon mushrooms? I mean, come on, you guys. There's like a little lizard parrot dude. Oh, here's some limestone right here. Oh, and it's a pure node. That's even better. And here's the shore. Huzzah! All right. All of the... the the you know um landscape off in the distance is, has been redone too with more detail so you have more to look at on the horizon i love it okay well we know where the limestone is uh, we don't need to do anything with it right this moment you know what i think i might do too is i think i might actually move the hub down here because I'd like to, to maybe build out over the water for a couple of reasons. One, it'd be cool as shit to do that. But also, it pretty much gives us no obstructions. I mean, we just, because we can go way out there. I mean, I don't know how far. You do eventually get to a border that will start damaging you, but it's a long ways. Um, So building out over the water is definitely something I want to consider. I think that's a bad bat over there. Yeah, we don't want to mess with that dude. He would give us a, a 
hard time right now. But let's let's go ahead and finish the onboarding first, and then then I'll maybe move the hub over all, all the way to the shore here. We're not super far away from it, so. Oh, there's more limestone over there too. Okay, good. And more bacon. And another iron. Jeez, there's iron all over. Is this an, an, a normal? Yeah, but I mean, with that many of them, that's amazing. Okay. Oh, can I do something with this? No, it's just the flower. Those are flower petals? Oh, those are flower petals. That's what I was looking for. Okay, um, those are leaves, 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 flower petals. Okay, so it's the bush that looks like sagebrush. Ah, nifty. Okay. Yeah, flower petals. That's what we want. And, uh, you know, unless they've changed something, of course, since update five, flower petals were like the best bio material to get in the start of the game. Ah, night. Okay. So yeah, it's just a sagebrush looking bush. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to throw these flower petals in here. Um, actually, let's see if they change it. Okay, so this is basically 12 per minute. The wood is 12 per minute, so it's the same. What about the this? Yeah, see, that's 80 per minute. So, I guess wood and flower petals are the same. What what about this? That's 4.8 per minute. Hatcher remains. Hmm. Okay. So, why don't we start by just burning up these leaves, and once they're gone, you know, then we'll put the, the wood and the flower petals in there. In the meantime, we can just store them in here. Okay, good. Good deal. All right, so let's let's see what we need to prioritize here. We you know what? We can actually just do all this by hand for now, I think. So, let's go ahead and make copper ingots. And then we'll make the wire, and I'm just going to make all this stuff by hand to get the you know finish upgrading the um the hub here because i think we're going to move it over to the shore and then we'll set up conveyor lines and stuff to bring stuff over to us all right so you want here, let's actually select this you want 20 copper wire and then we need 20 rods and 20 plates All right, we're going to have to smelt some more iron here. Okay, that's enough of that. Jeez, that takes a long time. Um, Yeah, okay, so let's finish our plates here. This is really about the only time we, we're going to have to do this. Because once we get the smelters going, then, you know, the smelters will take care of that. Okay, let's upgrade the hub. Congratulations, you have unlocked scanner feature, limestone, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade for, note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay, so we, I guess we have a fourth upgrade on this dude. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> excuse me. So this is going to require concrete, um, and that's why we need the limestone. We get more inventory slots too. Okay, so let's select this. All right, here's the thing. Um, I changed my mind. I'm not. We're not going to move the hub yet. We are going to move it to the coast, but not quite yet. So I think the next thing we want to do is we want to get going with some uh, some miners and some smelters. So let's actually just pick this thing up. 
because we actually we need those to make the miners. Um, so uh, let's see, special production constructor smelter. Oh wait, can we not make the drill yet? Constructor smelter. Oh yeah, I guess we can't make it yet. That'll probably come with the next update. Um, active, uh, select milestone. Conveyor pull. Interesting. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we can't make that yet. All right, well, then what we're going to do is, um, that seems weird, man. But I guess it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to just set some stuff down. I'm not going to worry too much about how neat it looks. We're just going to set it down and work with it. Um, so let's start here, and we want to put down a smelter. And we're going to need rods and wire for that. So let's make those first. It seems to be like we should be able to put the drills down right now, but <laughs> apparently we can't. Ah, geez. Okay. So... Um, is there a way for me to pin this smelter? Add to to-do list. Right mouse button. Okay. I added it to the to-do list. And I think we have to move our cursor all the way over to here to bring the to-do list up. I don't see it there. Let's try that again. Add to to-do list. There, now it's on, on the to-do list. Okay, cool. So we're going to want to make... At least two of these. For now, we're going to make a whole lot more before it's all said and done, but at least two. Um, so let's make ten rods. And 16 wire. Very good. Okay, so we're going to put the first smelter down here. Let's flip it around this way. And again, I don't really give a shit at this point. If it's straight or anything like that. Just putting them down. All right, now we need to get power hooked up. So uh, we're going to do a power pull. Oh, see, now we need concrete for that. That's right, damn it. Um, We should be able to do one power connection. Oh, we need cable. <laughs> of course we do. Of course we do. Okay, so for cable, uh, we need copper wire, and we need two per. So... All right, let's make, say, 20 of these. And then we'll just make 10 of these because we're going to need them. All right, good. Now, let's connect you to you. And we're powered up. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to select iron ingots and we're going to load this guy up with all this ore and let it start making ingots for us. Okay. Now, um, I only have... Can I... I don't think I can daisy chain these connections or can I? Two. No, we can't. we got to build another power line. Can I... do that? Nope. Okay, so we got to go get concrete. And... So that means we need to make a uh, just trying to think if I want to take a drill out there. <sighs> yeah, uh, let's do that. Okay, so I remember it was just right over here. Yeah. We'll just pop a, uh, a portable down on there for now and then we'll grab some by hand. Oh, shit. Okay. Where's my, um... Uh, 
it might be a good idea to keep that equipped, you think? Let's eat some bacon and mushrooms. Later on, we'll be able to have multiple items in our, you know, our toolbar that we can quickly switch to, but there's still one of those fuckers floating around. Okay, let's kill this thing. He's probably going to try and come and attack us. There we go. Okay, we got another one to kill here. My understanding, too, is that they added new weapons and ammo types since update 5.2. Okay, let's get some pure limestone. down on here. Oh, can you not? Oh, maybe we can't use these on limestone. Yeah, I guess we can. I just didn't have it in the right spot, I guess. It seems to be working now. We got that done. We're going to go for about an hour on our first episode here. I tend to have a little bit longer episodes than a lot of other Let's Plays anyways. And most, in fact, yeah, almost everybody is cool with that. I don't think I've had ever, anybody ever tell me, hey, your episodes are too long. But... That being said, I don't want to make them super long either because this is, you know, it's still a Let's Play format. Okay, so, how are we doing here? We're burning those leaves down. Now, we needed to make um, a power pole, but first we need to make concrete. So let's just make as much concrete as we have limestone to do. Alright, and then we also need copper wire and rods. Make about 20 of those and about 20 of those. Are you finished uh, with that first batch? Yes, you are. So let's grab those and we'll put these in there. And now we should be able to get this next one going. Um, so we're just going to put this power pole right here. And oh, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. This is also new. Let's take that back down. We get all of the stuff back when we de deconstruct something. So we can actually pop the pole. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. We can pop the pole right on an existing line. And we don't have to, you know, take, take it down and redo it. It's really nice. Okay. This is not working because we haven't told it what to do yet. We gotta tell it to do iron ingots. Excellent. Okay. Let's make a third one of these for copper. A third smelter. And we'll just put that one. We'll just put that one right, right there for now. Again, I promise I will make this stuff nice and neat later. And then we'll just run a, another cable off of there. Whoa. Oh, that's you. He's not dangerous. Assign copper to you and... We have a little bit of... Oh, no, that's iron ore. Okay. Let's go grab some copper ore from the miner that we put down. And I'm going to put this stuff in here. I guess we can take the rest of that with us for now. Is there a sort option? Inventory. Sort, yeah. Nice. I love to sort my inventory. More bacon mushroom. Okay, let's take... Uh, oh, no. Damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it, Jim! Okay. Uh, grab all. There we go. 
Are these red things considered flowers too? No, those are just leaves. So it is the the sagebrush looking bushes only, apparently. Alright, let's put uh, a load of co uh no, that's the that's the iron one. This is the copper one. Why the hell did I put this all the way over here? <laughs> I don't know. It's all temporary. Sweet. Okay. Now, I think we need... I think we need a constructor to make concrete. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's build one of those. We need two reinforced plates and eight cables. All right, so there's our eight cables. Let's make some more wires too. We'll use the rest of our current copper ingots for that. And um, reinforced plate here. Okay, so we're gonna need to make some screws and and more iron plates. Okay, let's make some iron plates. We'll make about 20 of these. And then screws, I think, need rods. And we have 15 rods. Okay, now we need two of these. Does that give us everything? Yes, it does. Those things are making noise up in the sky. It's crazy. Okay, let's put a uh, let's put this constructor back here for now. And I want it to make concrete. And let's go grab a load of limestone uh, to throw in there. You know what? I want to put my other, um, no, nope, wrong button. Let's put this other guy down here for now, too. Just got to find a spot that he'll go. There we go. Okay, grab all of that. It's fun to start in a new, a new area, too. So I, I, this specific area that we're in right now, I've never been here at all. Not even once. I've kind of been in the in the desert a few times, but um Oh right, we need power. We have one more line. Nope, we're maxed out. Okay, so we need to make another power line. Um why don't we do this and then do that? Oh. Wait a minute, why didn't that connect? I must not have had it over the thing right. Oh, I'm missing cable. That's why. So, oh, I get it. Okay, so I have enough stuff to make the pole, but not to make the cable. So you have to have all of that, which makes perfect sense. Let's make a few more cables. Okay. Now we should be able to connect you to there and then move you over to here. And then... Connect you to there. All right. Are we overloaded? Is that what the problem is? Or did we run out of fuel? We ran out of fuel. Okay. Not a problem. Let's grab the, um, uh, the wood. We'll burn that up next, and then we'll do the flowers last. All right, so if we look at this, it's basically showing us that it's consuming 12 megawatts, 12.1 megawatts, and we can support up to 16 megawatts with this single um, biomass burner here. Excellent. Okay. 
Okay, so, um... We just need 10 concrete, 20 cable, and 75 plates. Okay, let's grab another stack of ingots out of here. And... Put that iron in there. Oh, I picked up all my dudes, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. If we go to you as well and grab those, we'll probably have enough to to finish the hub upgrade here. All right, let's go into here. We'll put the the plates in. All right, do we have tin concrete made up yet? We have twenty-seven. And then we just need to make 20 uh, more cables. And so let's grab those ingots. And throw those in there. And here we go. Pub upgrade four. Congratulations, you have unlocked building, conveyor belts and poles, inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Right, okay. So this is where we get our miner uh, when we do hub, hub, oop, hub upgrade 5. Okay, I don't know if this is the last one or if they're gonna if it's gonna give us a sixth one, but um, I, I didn't I didn't remember this taking as long as it's taking, but that's okay. It's just I didn't remember it. Unless they made it longer, man, that's a possibility too, I suppose. Uh, but we should do we have our living quarters now? Yeah, we do. Look at that. Uh, are they? Yeah, I think they're complete. So now we can go to the bathroom if we need to. <laughs> that's cool. Is that is that new? I don't know if that's always been there or not. Got a little kitchen over here, refrigerator, some lockers, a couple of bunk beds. I don't know why there's two, because I'm the only one here. Uh, well, unless we were playing multiplayer, I guess. I don't know what that stuff is. Maybe it's just more storage. But, uh, yeah, very cool looking. Makes it a little more homely for us. All right, guys. Well, um, we are pretty much at about the hour mark here. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And we'll just pick up right where we left off in the next episode. And, you know, keep working on getting our hub upgrades finished once we get that completely finished and especially you know once we can get miners down then the ten the, the the hell was that the tentative plan is for us to pick up the hub and move it to the coast and and start doing a little bit more of a permanent first factory setup you know for the early game stuff that we need to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye